10. I'm Donna Hopkins, Pro Football Plus, here with number 10, Curtis Samuels. Curtis, wow, you know, it's just a breath of fresh air to see you back out here this year. Uh, absolutely. You know, I'm excited to be out here, you know, especially running around with those guys. Um, I'm just I'm just thankful. Got to thank God, you know, uh, for allowing me to, you know, m make the step from last year and, you know, keep on playing. Now, when you look at this year and considering just what you went through last year with injuries, do you come into this year and just take a deep breath like, Whew. Um, definitely a little bit. You know, just after dealing with what I, I dealt with last year, just being at pretty much my lowest point that I never thought I, I never thought I'd be at. Um, it's just to enjoy the game now. You know, what I'm saying, don't take nothing for granted and just love what you do. You know, talk about just the process of getting through last year mentally. It had to be tough not being able to be on the field. It was really hard. Um, just really not understanding when I'm gonna be back. Uh, just you know, maybe next week or maybe not. I feel good, then I don't feel good. It was too many ups and downs. Um, this year, I just had to take a different approach with my overall health. You know, I mean, I, I've always helped, my health always been an important thing, but you know, it's just when something ain't going right, you got to switch it up. So, who was your biggest supporter last year? Because you got to have those really when you're going through some tough times like that. Um, I don't want to really pinpoint exactly. You know, what I'm saying because I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave too many people out, but. Um, I think the, the reason I'm here today is my family, my whole family, my friend group. Um, it's just li li like literally everybody helped me get to where I'm at today. I always say this. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be here without my support system. They kept me right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids from Brooklyn don't make it out because they may not have that strong support system. But I had so many people, so many people always keep me in the right path and just always telling me, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just keep working. Just keep working. Hey, don't let this put you down. You know, so my whole support system, you know. So do you look at things a little different after you go through something like that and you see life going forward a little different? Uh, just, I mean, I wouldn't say I took uh, anything for granted, but it's, that's, a, that's a different experience. You know, when you're at your lowest point and you be like, you really kind of be like, I, I didn't think this would happen. Um, coming into this year, I'm just like, yo, you know what? Like, I never know when this might be my last time playing. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be one of those guys that look back and say, what if? You know what I'm saying? I just want to go out there and do it. So you would pretty much say when people saw you at that first game, just taking one game at a time, one practice as, at a time? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, the little big media thing that was going around, you know, I just just stay focused, stay locked in. I, I, I don't let – I try not to let nothing affect me. I'm not a social media guy. I don't look at the positives. I don't look at the negatives because once you feed into one, you're going to feed into the other one, and you, it's hard to block yourself away from one, not the other. So I just try to stay focused, you know, just understanding the plan that we have here and just uh, keep it going from there. Don't look for – Curtis to be on social media because he just said he's not going to be there because he's focused on his craft. But but this season, looking at this season mindset, what what goals or what's your mindset going into this season? Uh, just make an impact. Um, you know that was my thing last year. You know, any, any team I want to step, any team I'm on, any team I step on, I just want to make uh, I just want to make my mark. Um, just go out there and do what I do best. You know, the, uh, go out there and make plays, uh, make guys miss, score touchdowns and dance. Well, the, the great thing about your, your game is your explosiveness, and that's what people were looking for last year. And I've already seen a piece of that in being out here this year, this training camp already, through these four weeks or so. You can see the specialness in you. What makes you so special? You tell me. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, um, uh, I, I, I guess because... I guess I do things that a lot of guys, I guess, can't do. I don't know. That's what that's how a lot of people view it, I guess. Um, but really, I just, I don't know. I feel like I've always been a different kid, you know, growing up. I've always been able to, like, do different things that I never really thought I could really do. You know what I'm saying? I've, I, I, like, people have been telling me, like, hey, you could do this, you could do that. You, you know what I'm saying? How great you are. But I never really understood it. You know, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I do go back and look. I'm like, wow, I ain't going to lie. I, did <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't believe I did that for real. But, you know, it's just exciting. And, you know, I just want to keep on doing it. He, he be looking at himself like, "Ooh, was that me? Oh, okay, okay, I got that." Um, uh, what is it? You know, I always try to get people to know the player outside of football. What is it that you want people to know about you outside of just football? What makes you? What do you? What you like to do? Uh, you know, those fun things and everything. Um. I mean, every now and then on social media, I, be, I just be in my car listening to music. You know what I'm saying? So that give you a little a little piece of what I, I really like to listen to music. I, I like old school music. I'm old school. See? I'm an old school type of guy. But, 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 I, I mean, I, I got to be honest. My favorite artist is Chris Brown. I, I got to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I listen to a lot of old school. old school? 
Um, we got Whitney Houston. We got Joe, right? We got John B. Um, can't leave Luther out. Nah, nah, can't forget Luther. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up in a household full of women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my I'm mother, great grandmother, grandmother, sister. You know what I'm saying? I had my stepfather in my life too, my dad. But you know, like. All they bumped is old school. So I'm in the house jamming, grooving. You know what I'm saying? I get my little groove on, play that, uh, what's my, uh, Bobby Brown? <laughs> and go crazy. Okay, okay, he got some new flavor here. So, so, so just getting back to football a little bit, what's the relationship with Carson Wentz right now? Being that, you know, everybody is getting on page with him. Where is it at for you and him right now? I feel good. You know, um, like I always say, uh, I, I just really just put a lot on me. You know what I'm saying? I try to go out there each and every day and make, you know, make it look the same. Try to come out with the same energy, same speed, so he can understand where I'm at on the field. He's um, so explosive. He can't catch up with you. <laughs> I mean, we, no, we, we got it. We got it. But uh, really, like I always say, my job is to just win and make things easy for him. Well, talking about the winning formulation, you probably know about the posse, Gary Clark, Ricky Sanders, and that group. A lot of people are comparing this group to the posse as far as Dotson, you, and, and Terry. This is looking like a special group this season. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we just got to stay locked in, you know what I'm saying? We, each and every day, we try to make each other better, you know, just keep pushing each other, try to uh, help each other out, coach each other through, through different things. I say this all the time, no matter how many times you've been in the league, you still learn from somebody, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we all take that approach, and nobody feel like they're better than the next man, and I feel like that's what makes us such a great group. W's are always good, right? Absolutely, that's how we do it. Hey, that's how they do it. Uh, Curtis Samuels, uh, a winner right here, but I mean a little flavor also.